for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. At the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the word present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the Hermit and the Two of Cups. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. You could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This card can be about trying really hard to do the right thing, but you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes what's doing what's right for you personally. Yeah, you want to make sure if you're trying really hard to, to do the right thing, make sure that you're doing the right thing, which includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worry about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which is showing a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So basically, Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person, got the Hermit, and it's, pair, it's uh, clarified by the Two of Cups. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that your person, they see you as the ideal partner. They find harmony with you. They think that you two are a union. They feel that there is a deep connection that they have with you. Yeah, this Two of Cups is very romantic. It's a romantic love. It's a partnership that can lead to proposal or marriage. And this is how your person is feeling about you for the recent past energy. But with this Hermit card here, it's showing that most of you, Aquarius, you do not want to make this connection a priority for you now, or at that time. It was not a priority for you. You wanted to probably be alone. Take some time, clear your mind, get rid of some, some baggage, maybe from this connection or from something else. Yeah, this person, you did not put them on the priority list. But for them, you are the one. Yeah, the Two of Cups is beautiful. Yeah, you're the one for this person. So, let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up. Well, we got the Devil card, and it's with the Four of Pentacles. So the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. Now, if you come to that conclusion, you want to make sure you're coming to it on your own. So it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. 
even if even if it's just a choice on what you're gonna have for dinner because small baby steps they're very important now it's with this four of pentacles which is a card about holding on to things people money or maybe situations longer than is healthy longer than is realistic so it is a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether you have others clinging to you in an unhealthy way. It does point to anxiety. It also points to fear. Could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to remember, try to realize being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. It does not. Yeah, because if you see the picture of the Four of Pentacles, it's a card below the word present. This man, he's on all fours of his coins. And you hear the word Pentacles in the, t in the deck, in the tarot? That means money, cash, coins, finance. Uh, he's on all fours. So he's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. His face, well, his eyes look like they're about to explode. Or his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. So there's some unhealthy, unhealthy clinging going on. Yeah, so coming up, we got the, like I said, the devil and, and uh, it's clarified by this four of pentacles. So basically, Aquarius your person they've got some unhealthy obsession about you toward you or some obsessive feelings for you yeah and you feel like um it could be causing you maybe some anxiety but for most of you it causes them anxiety Yeah, like I said, they see you as the perfect mate for them. So they cling on to you in an unhealthy way. And it's about obsession. Yeah, I, I'm picking up you. For a lot of you, your person is obsessed with you. Both of these cards are very unhealthy. It's not in a good way. Now, it may sound exciting, but it's very unhealthy clinging. It's a very unhealthy, toxic attachment. So, let's move on over. Let's see what we got for the challenge. Now, we got the King of Pentacles, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the King of Pentacles, it speaks of success. Could be with money matters. Just know that it's a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick, but it's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this does stand for actual person in your life, it refers to a very masculine type. He could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way though. If this is someone that you know, um, this man is someone who you more than likely can believe in and trust in. Absolutely. King of Pentacles is, it's positive. It's positive. Uh, the King of Pentacles is, could be career focused, secure and committed type. Uh, King of Pentacles, they make really good fathers. Very stable type of energy. Very stable. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands, so you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively. Because if you look careful, you'll probably find that part of the burden that you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. Don't try to take on too much because if you see the Ten of Wands, it's the card below the word challenge. Yeah, you see this man, he's walking forward. He's walking forward, 
but he's actually about to fall backwards. So, so Aquarius, be careful if this is you. Yeah, so the challenge, King of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands, that it's clarified by. So, like I said, your person, they got some unhealthy uh, Addic addiction or horrors. Maybe they got some unhealthy addictions. Could be for some of you. But for most of you, they have some unhealthy clinging to you, to this connection. Some unhealthy obs obsession about you, toward you. Very unhealthy. They want to, they want success with you. Yeah, you are the one. I can't say it enough. <laughs> King of Pentacles wants success. They're all about success and trying to be the best. But for you, this person, this connection, it's difficult. You f yeah, you feel like you're walking forward, but you're about to fall backwards. Yeah, maybe it's the person I'm picking up connection the person is it feels like a heavy load heavy load for you yeah with all this type of toxic energy that your person is bringing unhealthy energy that is if they have addictions then it's probably toxic too so it's a difficult person that you're with or just a difficult relationship it's not put it this way it's not easy being in a relationship with this person but they want success with you now let's see what the outcome is we got judgment and it's clarified by seven of pentacles now judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions decisions and, of course, judgments that are made too hastily. If you're prone to doing such things, it could be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. Now, it's with the Seven of Pentacles, which can be a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you. Or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you have put into a relationship. So you'll be reaping what you have sown, and this is positive, usually. It could mean that um, you'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along really well. You'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. You could have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether, to, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So the outcome, like I said, Aquarius, judgment clarified by Seven of Pentacles. Well, it looks like coming up or probably already, you are very judgmental about your person very judgmental um, yeah you don't you don't really see them in the best light and it's causing a make or break period you could be judgmental about other things um, hmm yeah very judgmental and it's causing a make or break it's going to cause a make or break in this connection it's either it's either going to you two will either stay together or it's going to fall apart or you're going to split because judgment cards is about not offering forgiveness not giving another more not giving any more chances and just jumping to conclusions really fast just being very judgmental. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, it's about putting effort and energy into things and reaping the rewards of the time and energy you spend. So it looks like you, 
you'll be trying to bring more into your life outside of this connection. Yeah, you'll be trying to make things work in other areas of your life. You see how she's watering this plant? And she takes care of it every morning and every every evening just to make sure um, it's, it's growing and it's taken care of. So that's what you'll be doing, but with other areas of your life. Yeah, you're trying to make things happen somewhere else with other things, other people. So, yeah, you're having a hard time forgiving this person. Probably has to do, probably a lot of it has to do with some toxic energy. They could have addictions. For the most part, they have unhealthy connection to you. It's very clingy, needy in a very unhealthy way. Clean, you needy, yeah. And it's because they think you're the one. You're their ideal mate. Yeah. So, the recent past, you wanted, you just didn't want to be with this person. You wanted some time alone. Because they, they just cling on to you. They cling on. And now it looks like you're just trying to bring more new things into your life that, that really work. Yeah, because the Seven Pentacles is about things really working, and you're 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 doing you're putting in energy and effort for things to really happen. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what is in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for, I hope I didn't repeat myself, but in the, anyway, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those i did forget to mention don't um some of my subscribers they'll ask me um they'll say well i'm not dealing with anyone so i haven't they'll say they haven't dated in years well, some even say decades um so how could this reading be well because these are general readings they're not personal readings it could be that you're, it's picking up on a family member. The story, yeah, the reading is picking up a friend or a situation. So yeah, just take the reading for however it resonates if you're not dealing with a love interest. Because these are intended to be love readings, but it could go either way. Either way.